Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the tribe of the sea. And uh, we are here with our tribe who's not quite in the sea yet. Uh, there is a wide sea ahead for us to explore, but uh, we're not quite there yet. And I first off want to address something. A lot of you guys have been telling me to breed Animera here. And if we look at her genes, she has these blind eyes. She has big body and heat body, which is not going to be conducive to what we're trying to do. She just, she has bad fertility. She's got a lot of genes that I don't want to breed in. A lot of you guys are going, well, breed her for the Megaloceros horns. Well, the thing with the Megaloceros horns is now that Animera is part of the tribe, they're unlocked in the mutation menu. And uh, so I don't necessarily want to breed her because um, we can always mutate those in later. But right now they're kind of extraneous because they're not really going to help us under the water. Uh, what we're going to need there is fishing skill as opposed to just straight up strength. So we're probably not going to breed Animera specifically because I don't really want to mess around with this uh, low fertility so early in the game. We're only on day 18, which means that we have at least 80 more days to go before we'll be able to unlock the high fertility. So I don't really want to mess around with that. That's why I don't want to breed Animera. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and we'll start a new day. And I think, okay, let's have Marame take a swipe at this bunny. Unfortunately, she did miss. Um, I'm going to have her dig. And then we need to get some of these creatures up here. Let's bring Anala and Kokoko up here. <laughs> and we will be starting to use names uh, that you guys have submitted. You have submitted so many names. It's absolutely insane. All right, we don't have a bluebird. So I can move Marame quickly over here so that Anamiko can step back in the nest and gather. And uh, we'll have uh, Mei, Mei Mei be ready to <laughs> gather up this. Uh, I, if they name another creature with the same three syllables, I'm probably going to keep that name because it's pretty fantastic. Uh, let's also bring, um, we'll bring Anamera up here, I think, because then she can actually go hunting up there. Uh, let's see if Kira Kira can maybe, yes, he can attack, although we need to get someone else over there. Uh, and quickly. Um, Kuro isn't too cold. And we've been breeding him with Anamiko. So let's bring... I'm going to bring Vanu over here. And he should be able to... Yeah, there we go. If we can move that way, we can actually have him gather that up. And then Lari can step over here just for the moment. And we can bring Kuro over here. Now he will be out of the way of the coconuts then but uh, we can still get back to them pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and start another new day. That went pretty quickly. And so far, so good. Nothing dangerous is spawning. Let's have Kira to Kira take out this bunny. We'll come over here, have Lare gather, and Vanu can step up here, gather, and then come leaping back. Oop, first of all, though, Anamara can get that bunny. And we'll have these guys come back down here. We'll have to get that bunny over there next time. Let's see, is there anything else we can dig? There is indeed. And there's another one right up there. There's actually two more right up there. So it would be wise if we could have uh, these guys kind of head in that direction. We also had another female born, Cece, who has the double swimming tail. So that's great news for us. We've had a lot of swimming tail creatures from Kuro and Anamiko, and I would like to breed them one last time if possible. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. And then I feel like Kuro would spend his last few days probably teaching Mimimi how to gather up these coconuts. So we'll have him gather there, and Mimimi can follow his example and gather right there. Um... The, let's bring her back here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Kuro won't get too cold. But uh, I think he he will. He's gonna be passing away the turn after this one, and I think he's probably pretty satisfied with where he is right now. Uh, now Kokoko has the nimble fingers too, so we should probably bring her back. Uh, but hopefully we can have a male born into this tribe pretty soon. And let's actually breed. Were we gonna breed these guys? We weren't going to breed these guys because they had pretty bad fertility, but we might breed Vanu. So he has a secondary swing tail. He has A and D. C and A. B and A. A and D. B and G. So he could breed with Kokoko. So she has B and G. Vanu has A and D. Let's make sure that we get them on Alpha, and we'll mark them with the blue gems to indicate 
that they are probably going to be our next breeding line. Now, they both have good fertility, right? Cococo could have slightly better fertility, but hers isn't bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll start a new day. And it looks like Kuro's big body has protected him from the cold, so that's good. Let's have a Cococo keep making her way back. And we'll put Cece over here and have Anamiko come sit in the nest. In fact, we could even breed Vanu and Anamiko, which might be better. Well, we'll see. Kokoko, possibly. Uh, let's bring... Well, I'm going to bring Marame up here for the turn. And let's have Anamara see if she can actually hunt down this bunny. It ran rather far away. We'll bring Anala back. Honestly, Anala strikes me as a bit of a free spirit. And I can see her enjoying romping through the mountains. Uh, even just uh, just kind of on her, on her own here. I feel like she would enjoy that and might have to be reined in a little bit. Let's let Vanu come back over here. And maybe we'll bring Kokoko this way. And have her do a little swimming to start uh, to start building up towards that water body because that is what we want to try and breed in. And we've only swum four times, so that's not so helpful. Let's see if Cure to Cure can actually take out this bunny. He can, so that's good. Uh, that'll help keep our food supply up. And let's make sure that we can actually. Ooh, I don't know if we can bring Kuro. Oh, he may not have the chance to gather up that last coconut. Let's bring him into the water and see. Oh, who are you? <gasps> Ramila. Okay. Uh, she does have the hind the webbed hind leg. Oh, okay, you know what? <laughs> Kuro, you found something more important than gathering coconuts. We're inviting her into the family, so. I was saying we had some terrible for we didn't want to have that terrible fertility, but Oh man, her genes are really bad. But uh, generally, or for the most part, her genes are really, really bad. But she has the water body. And I think it's going to be worth trying to breed that in. I'm not sure if it'll be for sure or not. But uh, and we keep running into the creatures with albinism too. Is that some sort of sign that maybe that's going to be a trait of the tribe? <laughs> we'll see. But let's bring Ramila over here. G and K, she could actually breed with Vani when she grows up. Possibly that would be a good option because they both do have that swimming tail or at least the chance of having it. Oh, let's see if we can catch that bunny. All right, we'll go ahead and start a new day again and goodbye. Oh, I always feel so bad when they pass away like that. But we'll have Lare gather up the bunny meat. Oh, and it came right to Vanu's side, although he wasn't quite strong enough to actually take it out. That's a perfect chance to start bringing Anamara back, though, because I think... Oh, that bunny has a... Uh, that bunny has gone into the grass. There's another creature here. Oh, it's a rogue. We gotta be careful of that. Um, Marame didn't quite catch it. Uh, so let's have Anala come and grab it here. And Anamara can start making her way back. We'll make sure we have Cococo swim across again. And uh, we can bring her back this way as well. Ooh, hopefully he's not going after um, Anamara there. Oh, he is. I think we'll have her give him a nice hearty smack. <gasps> My goodness, he's stuck around through that. Good gracious. Well, I guess Anamara will have to have a baby now. I wasn't quite planning on that. Oh, no. He better not. Oh, he's going to... Oh, this is not what I wanted. Oh my goodness, this stupid rogue. Well, we did have little Rossi born, and let's actually go ahead and we'll give her a different name, perhaps. Uh, let me take a look through our name list here. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll name her Layla. Uh, it just seems like a, a fitting name for her, and she does have that... Um, she does have that, uh, where did we're hearing on? I'm trying to, trying to mark the name off my list. Um, she does have the nimble fingers, it looks like. So, the question is, can we get off... You know what? You'd have to move out, okay. We're gonna start a new day. Nobody's getting super old. Cure to Cure is getting pretty old. But not ridiculously so. We're going to start a new day and see if we can get these guys away from that rogue before we have a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, of 
unexpected children here. Let's get Marame back here. Oh, there goes that rogue. We'll bring Inala back as well, and she can take a swipe at this bunny. Um, Anamara can make her way back here. She will have to nest soon, but uh, not just yet. And poor Kirtikir is about to pass away. Um, unfortunately, there's not much he can do except sit up on the stump and overlook the territory as his time comes. I feel like Lari would miss her companion, but, uh, I don't think, uh, there, there's really not anything she can do now that his time has come. Now, let's see, let's have, um, Mimi Me gather from these. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Kokoko swim across and start getting some of that swimming in, and we'll actually have Anamiko do some swimming as well, now that she's not actively uh, breeding. We'll have Cece step over here and kind of keep an eye on the coconut tree, and Layla can step out of the nest. We'll actually put Ramila in it, because she and Vanu are genetically compatible, even though Ramila has some pretty bad genes, she's got a lot of the water genes too, and so we're gonna see if we can breed some of those in. Uh, hopefully we can get a creature with the water body, and if we can do that, especially if it's male, then we may not have to breed Ramila all that much, just enough to make sure we can get those genes somewhere in the family. Um, Coco, why don't you gather up some of this grass as well? And I think that's pretty much it for this turn. We can have Vanu gather up some grass, too. Uh, hopefully, though, we don't see anything scary that might, uh, might give us pause here. Um, oh, it looks like the Dodomingo has passed away. Uh, Lare can actually snatch that. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? We have all these creatures <laughs> coming out of the sea at us. Oh my goodness, is there like a dig spot there? Oh, there is, that's what she's trying to do. Oh, there's the rogue too. Well, let's have little Layla come over and invite you into the tribe. <laughs> um, You have somewhat better genes than, uh, than Ramila actually, but what you really have that I'm really excited about is double water body. So I think you may end up being the breeding female here instead of Ramila, perhaps. She still has the swimming tail. She also has the webbed hind legs. I kind of want to get rid of the webbed paw, so maybe we'll put in normal eyesight. Or do you have better fertility? She's got the same fertility. So we'll put in better eyesight. And we'll put in, um, we'll put in, <laughs> I still am not over the fact that she just came out of the sea at us without warning. Oh, here's that rogue. Why don't you have, it? why don't Anna Mary, you can take another swipe at him. And you, uh, Marame, can actually come over here and dig up that root. We'll also have, um, hmm, I don't think we could have, let's have you gather here and gather here. I don't think it's going to be super easy to catch that bunny. Does anybody have more strength? Unfortunately, no. All of our creatures with higher strength seem to be absent. But let's have Anamiko at least take a swipe at him, and maybe she can. Uh, maybe she can start to. Um, maybe she can start to to work on whittling away at his health. We'll bring Anala over here as well, and uh, she can also help out. Perhaps. Oh, there's the bunny again. Uh, now we don't have all that much food, so we've got to be kind of careful here. Um, but I think Honorare is going to be a better option, and she does have compatible E and A, so she should be careful actually breeding with our he's our only male though. Um, Honorare only just grew up, so I think we'll actually have Ramila breed this turn. Now, okay, we really need. I think let's bring a, let's bring a small group this way. Maybe we'll bring you, and we can bring... Oh, you can catch this bunny, and let's have Vanu step up here, grab it, and then he could take a swipe at that rogue, but I think we'll leave him be for now. Um, but let's bring... I don't want to bring all of our nimble-fingered creatures, but we do still have Layla here. Maybe we'll bring... Why don't we have Kokoko stay over here? And these two can head this way in hopes of finding this other coconut tree and gathering a little more food. Let's also make sure that maybe we can have Honorare do some swimming and continue getting up to the ability to mutate that in. Um, I wonder if she and Ramila are at all related because they have so many of these swimming genes suddenly. 
um, as we're starting a new day here. Um, they have a lot of those. Okay, let's make sure you gather. Do not. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, Cece, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, at least the rogue is gone now. But even so, that's not at all what I was hoping for. Uh, maybe we can bring Anamara up here and perhaps she can find another nest to have her baby in. Um, at least Rana got the double swing. Oh, and she does have the other body, so she's got some decent genes. Are there any other roots we could have Dig you dig up here? Uh, Marame could reach this one and dig that up. Who's got a leech? Oh, it's got to be you, huh? Oh, Coco, Co, I'm sorry. Let's have uh, Vanu come over and pick that off. At least it's a little bit of extra food. Um, ooh, we could have... Oh, Lari's a little bit cold, though. Let's have uh, Anala gather up uh, that, but... Lari can step down here and be ready to gather up this um, this shell on the next turn. And let's have Honorere. You can actually swim through there. Oh yeah, because she has the water body. She can just sit in here and get, rack up the swimming points, basically. I'm not going to have Ramila have her baby this time because I think it's a little bit too risky. Um, we run the risk of running out of food and we need to establish ourselves a little more. In fact, Anamiko, let's just have you try to get that shell, but without success, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go ahead and start a new day, though. And I am leaving a lot of moves. Um, ooh, we've got a bunny right here. Do you have any extra strength? You've only got one still. Let's see if Anamara can actually catch it here. Yes. And we can have Rana come gather it up. Actually, we should change Rana's name, too. Um, let's look at our name list. And I think for Rana... Um, hmm. We'll go ahead and... We can name her... We'll, we'll name her Harry. Um, there we go. I, I don't know quite what it means, but it, it uh, I don't know. It's just sometimes these names just seem to fit. Let's have Honorary continue to swim, so that's good. And these two have quite a lot of the, um, the, the coconuts that they can gather, so we'll see. Oh, you have found a bunny at least. Perhaps, um, perhaps it will come back. Yes, it did. And we, oh, Marame, it's your last turn. Oh, well, there are some roots over there, but I don't think there's any within range of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we can let you overlook the stream here as your time comes. Oh, no, and what happened to the shell? Oh, oh, it was you. Oh, my goodness. I don't know who that is, but I'm not a fan. Oh, and you took our berries, too, in our time of need. How rude. Okay. There is, um, oh, there is a coconut. Let's have Anala risk going after this bunny. Uh, maybe we'll have Lare step up here and gather that instead of popping down to get the coconut this turn. But we might have to send someone to investigate that, uh, that stranger who has appeared this time. Um... Now that we have 18 and we know some of our creatures are going to pass away, I'm going to put Ramila here and we'll see if we can find another male, perhaps. There's lots of bunnies running around. We just don't have a lot of strength with most of our creatures. So we'll go ahead and we'll start a new day, I think. And unfortunately, we have lost... Oh, we've lo we're losing our creatures, you guys. Okay, Anamiko. There we go. You got that bunny. Let's have Lare come over here. Oh no, and she's cold. We've got to be careful of that. But there's really not that much we can do right now. Let's make sure Honorere can uh, go up there. Oh, let's see if we can get this berries. Oh no! Oh, Nutaku stole them. Oh, we might have to chase him off. He's got terrible genes. Again with a swimming tail on the hind legs, but really not that much else. He does have the antlers, and ordinarily I would like that, but we already have the Megaloceros horns that we can start mutating in. Oh, let's see if you can catch that bunny. Yes! And you can catch this one. In fact, maybe we can have Vanu gather it up 
and oh, we did have a male born. Let's let Onimera nest on this turn too. So Vanuta does have the water body now. He got a lot of the bad genes too. He got those blind eyes and he got the deformed paw, but he's also got some good genes. And so I think we'll, we'll keep him as a breeding creature potentially. Um, we'll go ahead and put these, uh, these eyes in the normal eyes and probably the better paw in. When can we put in the web tying legs? We have to swim again. And so we don't have that just yet. So we'll put in the normal paw. So he, let's see, do we have both of your new genes, G and K? We don't have that K gene in, but I don't know. We're, we've got enough new genes coming in that I'm not overly worried about it, I think. Uh, well, I mean, Ramila's still pretty young. And so let's see, if Harry watches over the new baby, let's go ahead and we'll give him a new name as well. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and I think we might name him... Let's name him Grun. Uh, for some reason, that feels like a fitting name. Um, and uh, let's have Ramila actually step over here and do some swimming herself so that uh, we can try and continue to work on that. Um, are there any coconuts for you to, to gather? There are not, but there is a stag mole. So, oh, and we scared it off, unfortunately. There's also a berry bush we should investigate. Uh, and it does seem we've lost the digging paw entirely, so that's not quite so good. Maybe Layla would want to uh, make her way over this way and see. Actually, Lare is pretty cold. Why don't we bring Anala up here and then they can all keep each other warm? And that'll work out quite nicely, I think, because we have um, we have Kokoko here who can handle gathering, I think, from the tree. So let's have them head over that way. And we'll start a new day here. And we had, oh my, Corey, what did you get? Oh, the antenna. So I guess that rogue had the antenna. Oh, and you do have the K gene. Honestly, for a rogue baby, that's not that bad. <laughs> uh, you did get some good genes. So that at least is a good thing. Let's have Anamiko possibly pop back over here and gather quickly before... Ooh. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Oh my goodness. Let's see if uh, if either of these guys could hatch a clever plan. Perhaps we'll leave Cece down here for a moment. And if that rogue comes back within range, we'll see if these guys can enact a clever plan to uh, perhaps put a stop to his antics. Now, I think we gotta be careful because Vanu is actually about to pass away. But I think, um, I think Anamara would hear the, uh, the situation over here and would start making her way over to help because her baby is protected. And so we'll head this way and just see. Maybe Cece can come over this way and we'll have, uh, we'll have Harry come stand right here and help protect. Uh, let's make sure Honorary keeps swimming. No, excuse me. These are ours. Is he trying to dig? Oh, he's trying to dig. At least he's not stealing our uh, our coconuts here. I was worried about that for a minute. Um, let's see if... Ooh, actually, let's bring Layla down here. And then Anala can step back up here and you can help gather. And I don't want you to get too close. Oh, there's a healing fruit too. We have to defend that pretty carefully. Uh, but I don't want them to get too close. Let's see if you can keep swimming. And so can Ramila. And unfortunately that bunny, it seems, has pretty much gotten away. There's not really much we can do. How is our, our working towards the water body coming? Oops, that's not what I was supposed to click. Let's see. Oh, you don't have an empty mutation menu. You do. So let's see. How is that coming? Um... 23, so we're almost halfway there. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and leave off this uh, this episode here for today uh, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.